But anyway, this is my other idea that involves an island in international waters. I watched the movie Icarus. What's that? Icarus is a Netflix documentary that won Best Documentary at the last Academy Awards. And it's about a dude who's a big biking enthusiast. He's like an almost pro kind of amateur dude. Like bicycling? Yeah, bicycling. And he's like very interested in the whole Lance Armstrong thing. And basically, the initial conceit of the movie is that he's going to try to take those drugs, performance enhancing drugs, and see what happens. Mm. He's in this kind of like amateur, serious amateur race. Can he skirt by? And then he meets the Russian dude who's part of the doping program and blah, blah, blah. So this is like a big film in that it kind of told the story of how the Russians got, you know, kicked out of the Olympics. And I'm watching the whole thing, and I know people really like that movie, but we were watching it at home, and I was just like, who cares? You know, it's like, sometimes I feel that way. What about doping? Yeah, some part of me, because, like, you know, also the movie's, like, very dramatic. It's just like, the Olympic Council has decided to ban Russia from the games. Yeah. And then this guy's like, this goes all the way to Vladimir Putin. Putin himself is in charge of the doping program. They're talking about it like it's spy shit. Right. And there's some part of me that's like, maybe just because I'm not much of an athlete. You're not a sports fan. I'm not much of a sports fan, so maybe I don't have that ingrained sense of like, holy shit, this incredibly important thing was undermined by evil Russians. The purity of the sport. Yeah, so I was kind of like, but what did they do? Injected themselves some shit to get better at sports? Like, all right. Like, I, I agree completely. So anyway... And then I even think back in the night, remember people made this big deal about Mark McGuire taking creatine? Yeah, Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, all those guys. Gives a f- Why don't we ban protein powder, too? I agree completely. Those guys bulldoze through the records. Here we are talking baseball again. <laughs> this is an insane... They're not, in the, they're not in the Hall of Fame. I just want to shout out to anybody who's still listening to this episode, because yeah. it's a real psycho This episode. is a weird episode. This is maybe the weirdest TC yet. This is a very weird TC. Um... Five Inception layers deep right now. Those guys bulldoze through the home run records, and then it's revealed that they were doping, taking steroids, and now we're in this like weird gray area of like, well, they're not in the Hall of Fame. Are those records legitimate? It's like, yeah, they're legitimate. It happened. Right. And, you know, players in the 50s were smoking cigarettes and eating hot dogs all day. Yeah, they didn't perform as well. Of course. Right. It's sort of like... It has come to light that during the recording of Fleetwood Mac's Rumors... <laughs> the band was using substances such as cocaine, oh, using marijuana, and creatine powder. And, okay, and creatine powder. Stevie was juicing. In light of this, the RIAA has decided to strip them of their double diamond status. <laughs> I'm sure there's like a probably hardcore moral argument to make against what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm thinking about this and I'm just seeing these people talking shit about these poor Russians, Vladimir Putin. And I just feel bad for them. Although they did get to wear those cool Olympic athlete from Russia uniforms that were actually cooler than wearing the Russian uniform in the last Olympics. They still let them come. They just couldn't wear their flag. It's all crazy when you think about it. The Olympics are whack. Because... People from that country injected themselves with steroids. The next batch of people from that country can't have the flag on their oh, uniform. Speaking of weird congressional things too, like remember when Mark McGuire was like in Congress, like in tears, like wearing like a suit that was too small with his huge goatee, just like weeping. Well, and also just like now, now is creatine considered chill? There's like so much more hardcore. Shit. But anyway, this is my idea. So I'm watching this and I'm feeling bad for all these guys because I'm like, you know what? You know that I believe that the war on drugs is crazy and that we got to be able to strike a better balance between personal liberty and protecting lives. And so I'm watching this and I just feel bad for all these athletes who are maybe just consider themselves a, a bit of a an athlete scientist. And they just want to see what happen, how good yeah. they can get with this. Shit. And I'm like, the Olympics are square, man. We should buy an island and we should start the juice games where you can come and you can try We'll set up track and field, biking, whatever. We'll do all the sports. And we'll say, listen, 
This is for people who are interested in the intersection of science and athletics. You take whatever the f you want. You want to do a rail and then hit the half pipe? You could do that. Just sounding like a Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to pound a Diet Coke, inject yourself with human growth hormone, then run a marathon? Why not? Diet Coke. Because I can. So we're going to partner with Diet Coke and bring it to a lawless island in the middle of the ocean. It'd be also a little bit like Bloodsport, that movie where they just invite oh, people yeah, for like a, a secretive combat, you know, to the death thing. I just like, you know what? If there's people who want to just like try, they shouldn't be shamed for it. I understand the argument that they're not the best <laughs> role models. For sure. I can imagine if you have a kid in Little League and you're concerned about their health, you probably don't want them at 10 or 11 years old fantasizing about using steroids. I get that. Of course. I don't want any angry letters from parents. I understand that. But I just feel like on some just like crazy sh like let the, these crazy people from all around the world roll up, do their drugs, and compete. Maybe we'll be like shattering records. That'd be interesting, right? Absolutely. And then we can have two columns. There can be like the juice columns. This guy ran a a, a one second mile. mile. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's a really fast mile? Is it three minutes? Three forty seven. I feel like uh, humans have sort of peaked out at around there, 346, something like that. Wouldn't it be interesting to see how f much faster we can get? Yeah, that would be crazy. And I also think... Take HGH and, like, do a rail of Coke and a pound of Diet Coke and run it in, like, <laughs> 320. <laughs> Why not? And again, I'm not recommending that people take steroids. I have no interest in it myself at this current juncture. No, it should be for people who are already at a very elite level and need the edge. It's not for... A high school player that like thinks he can maybe make the college team. No, no, no. You know, I was texting with my dad about. I was pitching him my idea about the steroids island. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was like I forget what we were talking about, but it made me think of it. And I was like, "Hey, what do you think of this?" And then he's very long text to your dad. He's been, okay, dad. Picture a, an island in international waters. <laughs> and he he's always been uh, like interested in bodybuilding. Really? Like, yeah. Well, he, he like he's in good shape. He like works out, and then even back in the day, that's he, like, tight. We had Pumping Iron, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Great on VHS. Doc. So he's always had like a passing interest in. But he said, "There's ba <laughs> it's basically the Wild West in that world." And he said, "It's kind of f***ed up because like you know people burn bright and fade out." Mm -hmm. But if you look at some of these pictures of these like crazy juice heads, I'm operating in the under under the assumption that they're making these choices of their own volition and they know the pros and cons you know I understand that that's an important part you know, of the we're, yeah because we are getting into dicey territory but finish your yeah, thought again, I know I we're getting into dicey territory but again you're about like 7-Eleven and you just like see the cover of a bodybuilding magazine you just look at the person you're, you're just, just like, like what the hell is it real right is that a real human being it's like a place where you literally don't have a muscle and that person has a muscle the size of a monster energy drink. Right. Like in the neck area, for instance. Right. There's muscles like, on top of muscles. It's interesting because the crazy, and I'm not talking about just like, you know, people in great shape. You know what I'm talking about. These oh, are, yeah, yeah. And the language they use on the cover, just like, here's a real monster. He's <laughs> scary. And you look at them, and it's funny, they're so big that they almost stop looking strong. They start to look like a, a character from Adventureland or something. Like yeah. a, a weird cartoon. You know, like there's or like so, a weird like pug or something. Well, because they're so jacked that it's beyond functional. It's beyond functional. And so you even wonder, like, can I take that guy? Like he's so jacked, it must be hard to move his arms around. But anyway, the can one thing the take one, that guy. Or like I, I'd almost rather fight that guy than like an NFL player. Right. <laughs> I think I feel you on that. I'm talking about the really scary dudes. And these are the guys who are You think about fighting? Every day. Not in an aggressive way, in a defensive way. Well, this is funny we're getting into this because then the flip side is the NFL. People are all like freaked out about people getting concussions and brain injuries having long-term... Well, you know what? And, because and, the and NFL's and dishonest about it. Right. On Juice Island, right. we're very honest about so, it. So it's going to get to that point, though, where it's like... Okay, if you play professional football or college football, strap in. It's going to be like really dangerous. You're, like you're risking your long term health here. Yeah, and you see, and that's I guess and, it gets to a point you, where it's and like you see players walking away. People yep. are great at it. Yep, <laughs> sports talk on TC. Let's get but, Mike but Francesca so, on the line. But so, <laughs> but so my point is that you see these guys 
These are absolute monster men. Yeah. So jacked. Beyond the point of functionality. And on one level, some people recoil because they've never seen anything like it. But there's also a part of me that, I don't know, like we do random ass sh- making music, making paintings, you know, people got to do what they want to do. And I see these guys and I'm like, they chose to do something, which is push the limits of what the human body can look like and how big muscles can grow. And they're kind of like astronauts in a way. They're adventurers, you know, they're dedicating their life. Yeah. In maybe a weird way to like seeing what happens. And there is something fascinating about it. And I, I respect those guys. Taking much bigger risks than we are. Yeah, I know. And at the end of the day, like, it takes a village. It takes all kinds, it man. It takes all kinds, man. So there's some part of me that's like, as much as, yes, I understand that you don't want your 12-year-old child getting excited about juicing, but there's just some part of me that's like, I don't know. I, I, I admire the dreamers, the risk takers. And I think it's gonna be Imagine like like in an Apple commercial or something instead of being like <laughs> Einstein and John Lennon. It was just like the most jacked dude ever. The See, dream. what's messed up is we don't even know that guy's name. No. You got to respect people who push to a new place that nobody's gone before, especially if they're doing it on their own, because that's a lonely journey. Just like going up to the moon, you know, is lonely. Being that guy, that person who pushes their body to the most jackedest shredded as that has ever been so here's to the dreamers <laughs> the people who heard no and kept going it's just like mark mcgrath <laughs> vladimir putin also i love that this is like such a, a classic contradiction of like advertising is so many of the things that we used to describe like believing in yourself also describe psychotic sociopathic behavior here's to the dreamers right the people who busted down a door people who kept going in the face of all the information of the contrary. Truly delusional. <laughs> yeah. Truly delusional. But they pushed and pushed and they became the one in 10 million who actually did it. The odds are not in your favor at all. But be inspired by them. Drive a Ford F-150. So anyway, how much does an island cost? Seinfeld, can you get a number crunch on that? Have you been looking at islands this time? Yeah, I've been, I've been shopping <laughs> for islands. Um, let's see here. Wait, but I got a question. This is going to be an unpopular idea, right? I'm probably going to get some pushback. Steroid Island? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, is ster- I honestly can't tell. Is Steroid Island going to be... Because uh, what do people accuse you of glamorizing steroids? Is that the issue? Like if you actually did or what we're talking about? Like, Let's say on the next time crisis, we're like, hey guys, good news. <laughs> we talked to Elon Musk and we... <laughs> He's in. <laughs> He's in. Uh, we bought a, a small island. It's now its own um, territory, and we're starting Steroid Island. People would probably be mad, right? Yeah, but it might be just a thing of, like, taste. If someone did that, I don't think I would really tune in. It was, <laughs> it's not really, like, my cup of tea. Really? No. Oh, you're kind of my target demo. I'm not really, like, an MMA guy. Right. I mean, those guys aren't doing roids. Oh, maybe they are. I don't even know. But that's just like no holds barred, like just like go for it kind of stuff. Wow. According to CNNMoney.com, you can get an island for under $100,000. Okay, but this has to be a sizable island. We need infrastructure. We're We're talking uh, 16 acres here. Where, dude? 16 Uh, acres. Apparently, this guy Boris Rengenhaus bought a 16-acre island in Nova Scotia, Canada for 60 k So that's probably really cold, like 10 months of the year. And probably still bound by the laws of Canada. (laughs) We probably we might have to buy it and secede from Canada. There you go. I mean, sixty thousand dollars. We could raise that. Time crisis Kickstarter. A time crisis Kickstarter. Steroid Island. Are you tired of elite athletes being told what they can and cannot put in their bodies? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Also, I'm so deeply uninterested in sports. I don't know why I'm fired up about this one. Maybe we got to talk to some athletes and just be like. Would this be of interest to you? Because I don't want to spend all this money and then nobody shows up. But you know, there's like If that, you build it. I'm just saying there's so many things that people are allowed to do. Eat terrible food, make shady investments, or like, you know, the Isle of Man, they have this really fast, like, uh, motorcycle race. Oh, wow. And somebody dies basically every year. Sure. And you watch the videos of people watching it. It's just like, it's so psycho how fast these guys go. Wow. And they're just on bikes. I don't know if they're hitting like 200 miles an hour. It's scary. Like a motorcycle's. Yeah, or 
but you know, not like not like a Harley, like a yeah, like a small like dirt bike or something. Or, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what you call it, but it's you know these guys are going fast, selling people die, and one person dies at a nightclub. Sometimes they shut it down. People were taking drugs here, and one person died. You know, you want consistency. I just want consistency. I'm starting to think that a lawless island could be very useful. Uh, we now got a surprise guest all the way from New York City. We got Despot out in L.A. What's up? Hello. How you enjoying L.A.? Such a New York guy. Uh, I love it here. It's my favorite place <laughs> to be. Very happy to be here again. I come here all the time strictly for leisure because I, lo- I just love being here. I'd love to live here forever. Full-time death spot in L.A. Hey, man, might happen. What's stopping you? Um, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's like I'm not, like, spiritually grounded enough, I think, to live in L.A. yet. I don't meditate. I used to do yoga once a week, but I don't anymore. Just don't feel like I fit in. I don't wear flower crowns. I don't have, like, a flowy dress to put on. I don't wear fedoras. <laughs> you're describing me to a T. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, you know, you're at home here. You're well acclimated. And I, I guess I envy that a little bit. And I think I could get there one day. Maybe one day. Well, before you came in, uh, just before we get into the top five, I just got to ask you because I'm getting pretty serious about this idea. You know, like I said... I, I'm a musician first, but a businessman second. This will never come up again in a future episode, I guarantee <laughs> I know, you. I'm telling you, I've been talking about this. I mentioned it to my dad. I have mentioned it to Despot before. But this idea about buying an island and doing a do-whatever-you-want Olympics, where you can take what you want, as long as it's like under the skin, you maybe could even do like implant like weird robot shit in your body. But we could discuss that. But just... An island where people can compete and try to break records by taking whatever they want. And the reason I want to ask you about this, Despot, is because you work out religiously. I haven't, though, almost the whole time I've been here. Okay, but when you're home in New York, you like to sculpt your body. I'm a bodybuilder. You're a bodybuilder, basically. You're in great shape. Thanks. Every day? Every day, yeah. Damn. You know, you work a different set of muscles each day. Copy that. People in the gym like to call like shoulders and arms day, arms day, you know? (laughs) Really? (laughs) I've never heard that. Me neither until the other day. (laughs) So my question for you, because I was talking about how I kind of admire, again, I'm not... Me. Yes, I admire you, but also... Thanks. Like, you know when you see like the insanely jacked people who clearly must have had to use some type of substances to get that level of jack? Yeah. I was saying before that those people are like body astronauts. They're pushing into places that we as a human race have never been before. Mm. But you as somebody who just kind of works out the old-fashioned way, do you look down on those people or do you admire them too? I think I admire them too. I, I do think it's brave to um, yeah, enter like uncharted body territory. Also, I'm not recommending it. They're, it's risky, right? Yeah. There's breakthroughs in um, body science, body building science <laughs> all the time. HGH now. Is HGH illegal? I don't think so, no, because it's used like medicinally too, I I believe. And it's also just used as like an anti-aging thing for like people who have some money. But you probably couldn't use it in the Olympics. I don't know, probably not. But in your Olympics you could. Exactly. (laughs) If you want to. I also think it'd be cool that on Juice Island... Wait, but it's all about juice now? Well, I don't, I just, I just say, I don't know about this I'm just picking one at random. Right, but your island is about all drugs. It's about all drugs. Including Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say after four or five years of this, and we're, we're shattering records left and right, and people start to get interested in it. People start to be like, why am I going to watch the Olympics when we got dudes running one minute miles? <laughs> we got one minute miles. We got dudes bench pressing 3,000 pounds things of that nature that's interesting Mm. but then i think we're gonna have an interesting second phase and that'll be really interesting too because maybe you will get somebody who gets so inspired by these drug users and the cyborgs that they're like that makes me want to work even harder 
Like maybe Despa, maybe you come and you actually want to compete in something, yeah. but without drugs. Yeah, and then if I win, my odds are probably not so great because I'm competing <laughs> against these crazy mutants. It's probably really hard. Wait, one last question. You know when you see like the really like insanely jacked bodybuilders like beyond like me. muscles on muscles on muscles. No, yeah. but I'm talking about like the probably using something, right? Like and it's just beyond. Yeah. And it almost looks like it must be hard for them to get around because their arms are so big. Yeah. Even the idea of them like quickly move, like boxing would probably be hard for them. That's like a common, um, like big diesel guy, corny joke is like that. They have to walk through doorways, sideways and <laughs> stuff like that. Right. And so they think that's really funny. But if you're that big, you probably can't move too fast. Yeah. You're, I don't know. You're probably right. Never been that big. I'm just talking about like beyond, like the crazy right. giant guys. They have limited mobility. I mean, they can't even like reach up for like a glass on a high shelf. That's what I'm saying. Would it be easier to fight one of those guys than like an MMA guy? Yes, I think so. Because MMA guys are very fast and still strong, and those just beat you to All right, death. I just wanted to check that. <laughs>